What's going on, everybody? I am about to expose some demonic stuff, all right? I'm going to show you some clips, some lyrics, and some of you going to say, you know what? Hold up. Maybe I've been entertaining demons. Maybe I've been allowing demons to come into my house. Maybe I've had a mindset that's lined up with the spirit of the Antichrist, and I didn't even realize it. I feel this is a video right here that every young woman especially needs to watch, and you've got you to gotta just check and say, hold up. You know what? I've been flowing in the spirit of the Antichrist. I've been entertaining demons, and I didn't even realize it. Now, I'm going to start this video off. I'm going to show you a lot of different clips and interviews, and you know we're going to talk about some things that's very not very popular, but Beyonce, number one, is what I'm going to kick it off with. She's got this new album that I warned you guys about. I said, hey, man, she's going to unleash you know demons on a lot of people through these beats and these melodies and the lyrics. We've already had a history of her talking about you know using Bible pages to plug her you-know-what. Now she got the nerve to make a song called Church Girl. So she's targeting the church girls and, you know, the, the lyrics, she says, Lord, make me, Lord, place me. I'm just reading the lyrics. Ooh, 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 I want to be centered. Ooh, ooh, I want to be centered in thy will, 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 will. I've been up, I've been down, felt like I moved mountains, got friends that cried fountains. Oh, and then it says, I'm warning everybody, as soon as I get to this party, I'm going to let go of this body. I'm going to love on me. Nobody can judge me but me. I was born free. I'm going to drop it like a thotty. Drop it like a thotty. I said, now pop it like a thotty. Pop it like a thotty. You bad. Me say, now drop it like a thotty. Drop it like a thotty. You bad. Church girls acting loose. Bad girls acting snotty. All right. And so, of course, you know, the lyrics get even worse than that. You know, words that I can't even say. Um, and it's just it blows my mind because guess what? There's going to be church girls singing this. Oh, yeah. You know, ain't nothing wrong with going to church and doing this and, and, and having a little fun on the weekend. But they don't realize that's the spirit of Jezebel, which, you know, we talk about Jezebel a lot. But Revelations 2.20 says, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest the woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sanctified or not. So they came into the church. And that's what Revelations is warning about. These churches where they allowed that spirit of Jezebel to come in. And that's what Beyonce is saying. You know, who are you to judge me? I'm going to shake it like a thotty. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a loose woman. And I'm proud of it. And we're living in a society where, you know, there's something that has shifted with women. Like they are proud to have bodies. They're proud to sleep around. I I'm free. I'm going to do me. And they don't realize this is the spirit of Jezebel. And this spirit hates Men, all right, they, they, it hates a strong man. They want an Ahab man, a weak man, a man that they can dominate, a man that they can, uh, you know, run over. And and so the spirit in some people is so bad that they're in total denial, right? And so we see these things. I'm going to show you a couple of crazy clips back to back to back, and then I'm going to come back. But that's why we see like just this attack on men, you know, and it's really the spirit of the Antichrist and the spirit of Jezebel because God made man the head, whether people like it or not. And so there's this delusion, which the Bible says in the last days, there would be a delusion and, and people really believe, oh, men and women are the same. There's no difference. But it's so crazy because we can fix that real quick. Let's get the NBA players to play against the WNBA. Let's get the top woman athlete to go against the top men. And we're going to see very quickly that there's clearly a difference there, even though people don't want to admit it. Before I talk too much, though, let's just watch a couple of these clips because it's crazy. When you wear leggings, do not wear them the way a normal girl would wear them, a.k.a. a 40-year-old mom. Wear them like Claudia and Devorah would. Mm -hmm. Hiked as far up as they can go, literally yep. giving you a <laughs> Legit, like, yank them up in between both your cheeks. So it's basically like you're naked, but with a colored legging on over right. top. Literally, I, like, you want to show everything. So here we have, you know, another woman just bragging about her body count, all these dudes that she's met on the internet, trying to act like, you know, there's no shame. Here's a girl making a joke about abortions. And what's so sad about this, I've seen many videos of girls making jokes, going to the abortion clinics and recording it. It's a sick world. Who does a guy get a right to say what a woman is? Women only know what women are. Are you a uh, cat? No. Can you tell me what a cat is? This is actually a genuine mistake. I am sorry I even came up here. You want to tell us what a woman is? Does every woman believe she deserves love? 
every woman believes she deserves love and she believes that she deserves the, the type of love from the type of man that she believes she deserves it from. And when she finds out that the type of men that she like don't like her, it's too much to bear. Mm. Like I said, women like, listen to this, women like what is advantageous or beneficial to them. So if you speak on what you don't like and that puts her at a disadvantage or it eliminates her from the equation, she has a problem with that because now she knows that the type of man that she wished she could be married to is not the type of man that wants to be married to her. So, guys, I have seen, man, tons of clips like this where, you know, women are just caught cheating. And then the reason they cheat, you know, is like, you know, these are obviously setups, but it's like some gold digging stuff. They will drop their boyfriend quick for a handsome dude, a guy who looks like he's got more money. And then in every instance, you know, where they get caught and they get busted, they're trying to, you know, manipulate their way out of it, try to flip it around. Like, and you see this, like this girl's going crazy. But what blows my mind is it seems like these videos are on the rise. Like they're everywhere. Like, you know, and it's almost like God is exposing this Jezebel spirit because really what this is, is, you know, it's just me. It's me. What I want, it's all about me. I'll do whatever it takes, you know, to get what I want. I'll say whatever, do whatever, be, you know, manipulative. And these videos are rising everywhere. And I feel like God is allowing it to come to the surface, you know, for a reason. Look at these clips. And really, this is a mindset that is growing, that is expanding. And you know what? Then you have people like Kevin Samuel. Uh, this tape guy, you know, don't agree with everything that they say, but they call this kind of behavior out. They call these kind of double standards out. They call these mindsets out. And it's like these women hate them. And guess what? If, if you're a guy and you like the, this Tate dude, this Kevin Samuels dude, you know what? They, they hate you too. They don't like you too. And they say, oh, you know, that's old thinking. That's sexist. And oh, you know, the WNBA uh, is not successful because you guys are sexist. It's not that women don't support it. It's not that. And here's the crazy thing that scares me. Now, ladies, I know I'm going to lose some of you with this, but a lot of women don't like having any kind of accountability, all right? And I'm, I'm going to be real with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of double standards and, and things, and you just don't want to fall into that category. I'm going to give you a couple, and then I'm going to, you know, get off of that. But, you know, a woman can say, I want a man with no kids. I want a tall man. You know, I want this type of man, that type of man. And, you know, if a man says the very same thing, he puts out his standards, look, I want a woman with no kids. Women get offended. They start attacking a lot of women are not able to be what it is they want from a man. And then they get offended when a man says he wants similar things. Like, for example, well, you know, you got to be six feet plus. Well, what if he says your body got to be certain measurements? Women get offended. Why is it that you can have these overweight women stripping down, twerking and doing all the stuff Beyonce's talking about? And that's celebrated. You're not allowed to say anything about it. But then they don't treat an overweight man the same way with the same type of love and energy. And, oh, he's just so, uh, he's so, you know, every woman, you know, they're, they're, they're just beautiful. And it just shows there's so, they're like, there's so many double standards that you got to start questioning, like that mindset and that mentality. Um, I'm going to just show you a couple of other clips at the end of this. And then I want to hear your opinions about it. You know what I'm saying? In the comment, every clip. That we see, let's start a conversation, whether you agree with it or not. But ladies, let me tell you, being a Proverbs 31 godly woman is the best way. Don't listen to this world. It's not soul ties is a real thing. The Bible says two flesh become one. You know, they say it's it's uh, more statistically um, impossible for a marriage to survive, you know, when a woman cheats. Why is that? Because there is a difference between men and women. Now, I'm, I'm not saying neither is... One is better or nothing, but here's just the reality. You know, imagine it's like a man is a hunter and he's got his bow and his arrow and he's looking, right? Women, for the most part, they they get to choose. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they, they, they can get the attention they want. Like, men are always trying to talk, especially if they're attractive, especially, you know, um, if they're pretty. But the man is often the one that is hunting, all right? And so when the man goes out there and... Boom, got her. Like, that's the kind of mentality. Boom, got her, got her. And so in a man's mind, it's like, yo, something about him made, 
you give yourself to him. Like he, he got you, right? And this is the reality. Like I've seen it. Like a man can go out and he can cheat just because the girl was there and it means nothing to him. She doesn't, she's not prettier than you. She doesn't, she's not, she doesn't treat him better than you. It could be a stranger. I've seen dudes go to the club and, and just cheat for no reason just because it's different. But the reality is most women, if they're in a marriage or a happy relationship, they're not going to just cheat with some strange dude. Usually it means something. And that's why a lot of times it's different. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just pointing out there is a, a real difference there. You know what I'm saying? In the psychology and the thinking and the emotions. Usually when they cheat, the dude they cheat with is either offering something that that other guy did not offer, failed to offer. But be, be, because the women can choose, you know what I'm saying? Um, guess what? You know what I'm saying? Like there's a reason why you let that guy you see what I'm saying? And so that's why with a lot of men, when a woman cheats, their ego can't get over it. And the reality is God made man and woman different. All right. And I get a lot of emails and messages, you know, the man cheat. I've been on both sides of that. I know, I know what that feels like, but if you really be honest, you know, men and women do stuff most of the time for different reasons because we're wired differently. That's why we communicate differently. And the bottom line is the world is trying to blur the line. Men can get pregnant and men can have periods and, and we can't define what a woman is. It's, and it's just crazy. There's clear differences in the behavior patterns for the most part. Uh, and, and of course, from the just the science, the physical attributes, you know what I'm saying, of, of what makes a male a male and what makes a woman. And the world's trying to blur uh, blur that. And that's the spirit of the Antichrist. That's the Jezebel spirit. You know, God made a man a, a man and a woman a woman. And that's, you know, that spirit is saying, no, you're wrong, God. We defy you. We shake our fists in front of you. With the abortions, you know what I'm saying? That's sacrificing to the idol of you. I don't want this to inconvenience me. Remember, they sacrificed their babies in the Old Testament and then in the New Testament, the bell, the Moloch, they threw them in the fire. So even, you know, I'm, I think I posted it already somewhere in the video. You're going to see a very disgusting tweet. And that's the reality. That's the mindset of, you know, this generation. And you don't want to have nothing to do with that. You want to be a godly woman. You want to do it God's way. So be blessed, be encouraged, be prayed up. Love you all. Men go out every day. They sacrifice spending time with their children. They sacrifice living a peaceful, relaxing life so that they can go out and provide for their family so their wife can stay home and relax. Women, like resenting men for wanting to provide for the family. It, it's, it's truly unbelievable. And women are trying to compete with men and it's so unnecessary. I speak out against feminism because it's not feminism. What's happening today is a radical form of a woman's movement. The idea that we don't need men, that men are always and constantly, once again, the oppressed versus the oppressor. I have news for people that do identify themselves as feminists. Men are not dropped off by the stork. They are born. We are the people that have to carry men for nine months they are our little boys, they are our sons, they are our husbands. The idea that somebody can live a life in the way that Brett Kavanaugh has lived his life and to have what has happened to him over these last couple of weeks happen to him should terrify everyone. This country needs due process, but beyond that, this country needs women to find their voices and to fight for our men because what is happening right now is a cultural war on men.